Thank you for joining this lesson. Mathematics paper one, number 17. In the case is it So number 17 says, towns A and B are 400 kilometers apart. A motorcyclist traveling at an average speed of 60 kilometers per hour left A for B at 1.20 p.m. A matato traveling at an average speed of 80 kilometers per hour also left A for town B at 2 p.m. Calculate the part one, the distance covered by the motorcyclist by 2 p.m. So by the time the matato is starting, that is at 2 p.m., the cyclist has already traveled a certain distance. And distance is usually given by uh, is usually given by speed times time. Speed times time. So at a speed of 60, and it's from 1.20 p.m. up to 2 p.m., it means it has traveled for 40 minutes, whereby we convert them to hours by dividing by 60. So this will give us exactly 40 kilometers. So that is the distance covered. In the second part, distance from town A in kilometers, where the matato caught up with the motorcyclist. So now that the matato is starting, but at a higher speed, given time it will catch up with the motorist. Therefore, we can calculate the distance. We first of all get what we call relative speed. Relative speed will be a speed of 80 minus a speed of 60 because they are going to the same direction. So 20 kilometers per hour. Then the distance between them equals to 40 kilometers. That means the relative time taken for them to meet will be this distance out of the speed, giving us exactly two hours. So they will be meeting after two hours. And now if the meeting is after two hours, distance from town A in kilometers, they are all from town A. So two hours, if we consider the speed of the second vehicle, we're going to get 160 kilometers. Or alternatively, you can say two hours times the speed of 60 to give us 120 kilometers. But now we will add the 40 kilometers which the, the, the motorist had already covered from A. Therefore, for the matato to catch up, the motorist will cover 120, but the motorist had already covered, hmm, that is the, the motorcyclist, had already covered 40. Therefore, it will still be 120 kilometers. In part three, the time when the matato caught up with the motorcyclist. So from two, we are adding two hours. This is going to be exactly four, 4 p.m. So that is the time they will catch up. A lorry traveling at an average speed of 40 kilometers per hour left B for A at 2 p.m. Determine the time when the lorry and the matato met. It's good to know that uh, they are starting at the same time because at 2 p.m. a lorry is leaving town B for A and we saw up there that again at 2 p.m. a matato left town A for B. Therefore, they are starting the journey at the same time, exactly at 2 p.m. Now, one is from A at point A, another one is at point B. This is uh, the lorry, this is the mat, or rather the matatu. The distance between them is 400 kilometers because they have not even started the journey. So by 2 p.m. exactly, we got a distance of 400 kilometers between the two vehicles. Let me further distance. Yeah, 400 kilometers. 
now we can uh, say we work with relative speed whereby in this case now we are going to add a speed of 40 kilometers per hour because they are approaching one another that is for the lorry and for the matter two we are having a speed of 80 a speed of 80 so this is going to give us exactly 120 kilometers per hour that is the relative speed again the distance between the two is 400 kilometers what about the relative time the time that will be taken for them to narrow the distance between them so we need distance out of speed for us to get time 400 out of 120 this is going to give us when we divide 400 and 120 i'm getting three hours and a third which is equivalent to three hours and a third an hour is 20 minutes therefore now remember we were calculating the time when the lorry and the matter to met mm -hmm. so for them to meet now we need to add the time they begin the journey then the time they would take to narrow the relative distance between them it's going to be 20 it's going to be 5 therefore 5 20 pm 